Hey guys, it's Nem and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So today I'm gonna to be testing the brand new KVD Beauty Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm, which is this right here. It's basically like a cream foundation. I have it on my skin right now. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, so if you guys wanna see a little bit more about this foundation and hear my thoughts on it, see how it looks on the skin and all that kind of stuff, then please keep on watching. I'm gonna prep my skin before we jump into the foundation. I'm gonna be using the NYX Marshmallow Smoothing Primer to prep my skin and I've been loving this primer. So I feel like with a foundation balm or cream foundation, you really have to, you know, get your skin nice and moisturized and prepped. Otherwise, cream foundations can easily cling onto dry patches um, and look kind of dry looking. So you really just wanna moisturize. You can use a moisturizer, you don't have to use a primer, but I really like this one because it is really, really nice and smoothing. So that is that. And now we're gonna move straight onto the foundation. Now, the foundation is a brand new one, of course, from KVD Beauty. I'm gonna read you a little bit about the claims. So this foundation does retail for 29 pounds in the UK or $38 in the US. It claims that it is a buildable full coverage foundation. So you can build it and get it up to a full coverage. It's also infused with apple extract, which is to nourish and hydrate the skin. It's a hydrating balm formula. It's lightweight and it leaves you with a fresh matte finish, which sounds interesting leaving you with a fresh matte finish. I'm assuming like a skin-like natural matte finish. And a few other things as well. It's cake-free, non-comedogenic, um, and it also minimizes the appearance of pores. So now that we have the claims out of the way, we're just gonna dive straight into it. So the shade I did pick up is Light 008. And I wanted to go for this one because if I went for a shade lighter, it would have been too pink toned. And then if I went a shade lighter than that, it would be too light. Um, however, this one now looks a little bit too dark. So the shade range is a little bit off for me. I mean, maybe it would work, we'll see. But first of all, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. It comes in this clear plastic um, packaging, which has this beautiful detail around it. I absolutely love the simplicity of it. It's very thin as well. Let me know what you guys think about the packaging. And then it just opens from here. That's what it looks like. Super sleek and clear. I absolutely love the packaging. I have to say like this does not scream cheap looking to me. It just looks very unique and just nice. I absolutely love the clean look. So this is the shade Light 008. As you can see, it does have a very yellow olivey undertone. And I'm just gonna feel and see. Wow. That has a lot of pigment. Just going to press it in and get some of the foundation. Wow. Okay, first impressions. It's very full coverage for what it is. It almost feels like it was gonna go on very sheer, but look how much it has covered. The shade is not bad. I wonder if it will oxidize. It does have a little bit of a glow as well. And I can see that it is slightly starting to dry down. So I'm just going to go in with more on this side. I mean, I have redness and acne scars and it is just covering them up. It also does feel very lightweight. It feels super lightweight. It feels very breathable as well. It doesn't feel like a heavy cream foundation. The formula is very thin. And I mean, look at that. It is going on like super full coverage but feels lightweight. And not only that as well, but there's no patchiness. It's not clinging to any dry patches. I think this would be great if you have dry skin or normal skin. Now it says buildable full coverage, but I feel like it just goes on super full coverage straight away. And like I barely pick up any product and it just feels super full coverage already. So you're gonna really have to just tap a tiny bit to get less coverage. It definitely is more of a full coverage foundation and I mean my skin just looks perfected so perfected now am I gonna say that it looks skin like no because you can tell that I'm wearing foundation but it is definitely very breathable and lightweight and just very even throughout I didn't get any patchiness um, it just looks very smooth and I think if you just want a very flawless even smooth base where it feels lightweight and you'd like full coverage 
this is the foundation. Like it feels and looks amazing just right off the bat. I will say though, it does feel a little bit oily. Like it feels balmy, it feels oily. So I think if you have really oily skin, maybe stay away from this foundation unless you really set your skin with powder afterwards to lock it in place. But if you were to just, you know, wear this um, and you didn't want to set your skin, then I feel like it would be a little bit of an oily mess if you do have oily skin. So I'm just going to do a little close up. You guys can see my skin looks so smooth and flawless. It just looks so good. The shade is really nice. It's not oxidizing as well. And it definitely has dried down as well. It doesn't feel tacky or sticky. So... I really, really like that. It does have a little bit of a dew. That could be from the primer, but as I applied it, I did notice that because it is very balmy and oily, it does still have a little bit of that freshness, which they say anyway, it has a fresh matte finish. It's not completely dewy, but um, some parts are. So let me know what you guys think. I really love the overall look of it. I think it looks super, super nice and now i'm gonna go in with concealer to just see what it's gonna look like with additional products i'm gonna go in with the jouer high coverage essential concealer this is in the shade lace i'm just going to blend that underneath the eyes so far it's blending beautifully on top of the foundation they're just meshing together so yeah it's just melting nicely into the foundation i absolutely love how it all looks it is very full coverage so i am going to set my skin with a little bit of powder and i'm just going to apply it to mainly my under eyes and a little bit in this area i'm not going to set my whole entire face with powder but I am going to set just certain areas. And I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set my skin. And you can see as well, it does take away a little bit of that shine that we had right here. So if you do have oily skin, of course, setting it with powder is going to lock it in place a lot more and take away some of that shininess. So you can see it still kept like that full coverageness, that smooth overall look and the products went on really, really nicely on top of it. So this so far, I'm absolutely loving. I would say it's amazing for normal to combination skin. Again, if you have oily skin, you can get this foundation, but just really, really set your skin with powder. Make sure you lock it into place. Make sure you use a great gripping primer or oil controlling primer as well to kind of combat those oils and stop it from coming through the foundation. So yeah, it's a really, really great full coverage, lightweight cream foundation. I'm gonna call it a cream foundation because that's essentially what it is. It looks great. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm just gonna do bronzer, blusher, and highlighter, and I'll be right back to discuss with you my final thoughts. So this is how my skin and everything is looking after applying the rest of my makeup. I just went in with the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzer in natural, and I just applied a little bit of that, and then the new MAC Extra Dimension Blusher from the Black Cherry Spring Collection in the shade Dilly Dolly as my blush slash highlighter highlighter and then for lips i used the wet and wild mega last matte lipstick in the shade skinny dipping which is a beautiful kind of neutral mauvey nude and that is all i used on my skin i love 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 how my skin is looking i love how it feels on my skin and just overall the flawless like skin perfected look that it gives and that's literally what they claim and i 100 percent stand by their claims there's a few things that I will say, um, as I mentioned, for those of you who are oily skin, I'm a little bit on the fence about this foundation working for oily skin, but again, that's up to you guys to decide. Also, I will say as well, it wasn't really a buildable full coverage foundation. I felt like it just went on super full coverage straight away. Um, even though I just did one little, you know, dip with my brush, it still went on super full coverage. Um, so I don't know if you can really make it less than that. I do feel like it's intended to be quite full coverage. If you guys saw, I did review the new MAC cream foundation as well on my channel. And I have to say, I prefer the KVD one. I really prefer the KVD one because it feels a lot more lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look heavy. It does look like I'm wearing foundation, but it's a beautiful, perfected, flawless 
finish. Definitely get your hands on it. I definitely recommend this foundation. Again, mine is in the shade Light 008, but I will have a link down below for you guys to check out the foundation along with everything else, all the details. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me take off my little um, headband. Here's a little close up of everything afterwards of my skin. It looks so good. Look, my skin has never looked this perfect. And my skin has definitely dried down as well to more of that kind of natural matte finish. It doesn't look overly dewy anymore. Um, and definitely does feel like it's settled down and seeped into my skin. And let me know what you guys think. Leave me all your thoughts and comments down below. Let me know what you want to see next from me. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys. So I hope everyone is staying safe. And until next time, I'll speak to you guys all in my next video.